The more refined and processed sugar you consume, the worse off your thyroid will be. Conversely, cutting back on processed sugar is a quick way to boost your thyroid and make you feel better. When you stop eating sugar, your thyroid hormones will become more balanced. This is why sugar consumption and inflammation go hand in hand. With the more sugar you consume, the more general inflammation you will have in your body. When you cut out processed sugar from your diet, your thyroid is able to create more T3, the most powerful thyroid hormone available. This results in a better balance of your T4 to T3 ratio and means that your thyroid can do its job by helping you to regrow hair, help you lose weight, and help you have more energy. This is bad for most organs, but especially for your thyroid. Inflammation accelerates the aging of your skin and joints, damages your heart and kidneys, and causes an imbalance in your thyroid hormones. It will also have a significant effect on other tissues and organs. Next, you'll notice that losing weight will be much easier for two reasons. First, your thyroid controls your metabolism, so if it's functioning better, you'll be able to burn more calories at rest. Second, the combination of calories and the effect sugar has on the hormone insulin will make losing weight much easier. To illustrate, one study found that consuming sugar-sweetened beverages increased BMI by 0.24 and increased the risk of obesity by 60%. This is largely because it's very simple to consume a can of soda with over 30 grams of sugar without feeling any effect on your hunger. This makes it simpler to consume more calories than you require without even noticing it. As an added benefit, you'll notice a nearly instantaneous decrease in weight when you cut out processed sugar. This is mostly water weight from muscle glycogen, and you'll have more control over your appetite and find it easier to consume the number of calories your body and thyroid require. The third and hopefully least undesirable result is that your skin will appear better. Smoking and alcohol consumption are two well-known factors that speed up aging, but we can also add sugar to the list. Collagen and elastin are essential proteins that give your skin structure, and when they are compromised, the results show as wrinkles and sagging skin. What are known as advanced glycation end products are formed when glucose and fructose bond to collagen and elastin, preventing your body from mending them. Removing processed sugar from your diet can help you slow down the aging process, and you may very well see improvements in both the quality and texture of your skin. Many people are also pleasantly surprised to find that when they cut out sugar, they also notice a slimming effect on their face, some of which is related to fat loss and water loss. The more sugar you consume, the faster this will occur and the faster you will age. This problem is compounded when you have a thyroid problem though. However, there's no denying that the thyroid is also at play. Additionally, because people frequently consider your face and skin as a subconscious indicator of your vitality and health, the healthier you appear, the better your face and skin look. The fourth benefit is that your thyroid will have improved self-defense. Hashimoto thyroiditis, an autoimmune illness, is the most frequent cause of thyroid dysfunction in the United States and other affluent countries. It accounts for between 70 and 90 percent of cases of hypothyroidism. Our research has shown that there is a reciprocal link between the onset of Hashimoto's thyroiditis and insulin resistance. How does this relate to how much sugar you eat? Well, the more sugar you eat, the higher your risk of developing insulin resistance, which in turn raises your risk of developing thyroid antibodies. One easy method to address insulin resistance is to cut back on sugar. This is one of the reasons I advise all patients with hypothyroidism or Hashimoto's disease to be checked for insulin resistance and treated if it is found. Eliminating it will not only help you lose weight, but also improve immunological function and lessen thyroid gland damage. However, it will also assist in enhancing your thyroid number five, giving you extra energy one of the most prevalent signs of hypothyroidism is fatigue, which is caused by the body's incapacity to produce ATP, the energy source for the entire body. As a result, thyroid patients experience cognitive as well as muscular exhaustion. 
sadness, and fogginess in the brain when your brain lacks the energy it requires. It can be challenging to think clearly. Excessive sugar consumption is linked to exhaustion as well. But for a little different reason, the more sugar you eat, the more dependent your body grows on it for energy. This prevents you from using your fat stores for energy between meals, which are a far more reliable and sustained source of energy than sugar. If you are unable to accomplish this, you will feel a spike in energy between each meal. Reducing sugar in your diet helps to address this issue by increasing thyroid function and facilitating the release of stored fat. Will lead to more fat loss as well as more consistent energy throughout the day and improved control over your hunger. Which brings us to the next point on the list. Unfortunately, people who consume large amounts of sugar frequently have very little control over their appetite. They are stuck in a vicious cycle whereby they feel hungry shortly after eating, which in turn fuels more sugar cravings. The more sugar a person consumes, the worse this cycle gets and the more cravings they will experience. Fortunately, this problem can be completely resolved by eliminating sugar from your diet. It won't be easy, but after a few days, you'll notice that your taste buds have become resensitized to natural sugars found in whole foods. When I talk about sugar in this context, what I really mean are processed and refined sources of sugar. You should not confuse sugar with carbohydrates even though sugar is a type of carbohydrate. Consequently, foods like fruits will taste sweeter than you can imagine. But in order to get there, you have to get through the first few days, which are always the hardest. Thyroid dysfunction also contributes to food cravings, but through a different mechanism, and by improving your thyroid, it will become much easier to control your appetite before you run out and eliminate all sources of sugar from your diet. Some individuals may attempt to persuade you that all forms of carbohydrates are harmful, but this is untrue in the slightest. Whole food sources of carbohydrates that contain natural sugars are perfectly acceptable and even beneficial for your thyroid. The issue lies in refined sugar sources, which come in a variety of names and forms and are connected to detrimental health outcomes like diabetes and heart disease. Despite the fact that fruit contains an enormous amount of natural sugars, I have never seen a study that connects eating fruit or fruit juice to heart disease. It cannot be argued that drinking sugar-sweetened beverages like soda makes your heart healthier. In fact, Studies demonstrate the exact reverse. To be clear, below is a list of refined and processed sugars that are the source of the issues. I just mentioned white sugar, which is also referred to as granulated sugar, table sugar, brown sugar, powdered sugar corn syrup, and high fructose corn syrup. These are entirely different from whole foods, which are composed of both simple and complex carbohydrates and include vegetables, fruits, juices, and even milk. Understanding the differences between these three groups is essential. If any of this information is unclear to you, follow this rule. Always avoid processed and refined sources of sugar, but don't be afraid of whole foods. You can even have natural sources of sugar in moderation such as things like honey and maple syrup. As we wrap up our exploration of what happens to your thyroid when you stop eating sugar, it's clear that making this dietary change can have significant benefits for your thyroid health. By reducing your sugar intake, you can help stabilize your blood sugar levels, reduce inflammation, and support the proper functioning of your thyroid gland. These positive changes can lead to better energy levels, improved metabolism, and overall enhanced well-being. We hope this video has provided you with valuable insights into the critical role that sugar plays in your thyroid health and how making mindful dietary choices can lead to substantial improvements. Remember, every small step you take towards a healthier diet can make a big difference in your overall health. Please give this video a thumbs up and forward it to your friends and family if you think they could find it useful. Your support helps us create more content like this and reach a wider audience with important health tips and advice. Don't forget to subscribe to Health Angel Solutions for more videos on health, wellness, and nutrition. To ensure you never miss an update, press the notification bell. We are committed to bringing you the best, research-backed information to help you live your healthiest life. Thank you for watching.
and stay tuned for more health insights and solutions. Until next time, take care of yourself and make healthy choices every day. Remember, your health is your wealth.